Hey, how's it going? It's Mr. Farrell with another physics tutorial, this time on kinetic energy. Now, we're going to focus on kinetic energy using this equation here. Kinetic energy, Ke, equals one-half mass of an object times the velocity of the object squared. All right, we're going to use our ICE method to solve this problem. ICE represents identify, categorize, equate, and evaluate. All right, so we're going to use that. And let's go ahead and get started. So the problem reads, Austin has a mass of 78 kilograms. He is traveling with a velocity of nine meters per second north. What is Austin's kinetic energy? All right, so our first step in this process is to identify any measurements in the problem. A measurement, again, is a number, the unit for that number, and if it's given to us, the direction in which it's moving, okay? We also wanna be sure to identify the question that the problem is asking us. All right, so we're gonna use our blue marker here. Let's see, it says Austin has a mass of 78 kilograms, okay? So I wanna underline that, that is a number in the units. Uh, velocity of nine meters per second north, okay? I made sure to underline north as well because we want to get a direction. Underline the direction when it's given to us. And the overall question, what is Austin's kinetic energy? Awesome. So we've identified all of our measurements and the question. And so now we are done with our identify step and we can move on to the categorize step. All right, so in the categorized step, we are going to write down all of the measurements we just identified. So that would be 78 kilograms, 9 meters per second north, and we have our question, okay? So we wrote down the measurements that we knew and the question that is being asked, okay? And we just represented that with a question mark. So, in the categorize step, we have to put these into categories, identifying them with their variable, okay? The variable that represents them. So, I'm going to start with the first one. So, 78 kilograms. Now, again, the unit always gives you a hint as to what the variable is. Now, kilograms is a unit of mass. So, we're going to go ahead and put M down here for mass. All right, the problem also confirms this in that it says Austin has a mass of 78 kilograms. So also be aware of that to help you as you're uh, categorizing your measurements. Ne the next one we see is nine meters per second north. Now, since this has a direction in it, we know we need to choose a convention. Is north gonna be our positive or negative direction? So I'm gonna go ahead and write north and south right here. And we'll choose north to be the positive direction and south to be the negative. Now, we, can, we could have chosen north to be negative. It doesn't matter what we choose. This is arbitrary. But we just have to be uh, consistent with our conventions. So instead of having north here, now I can erase that and just make sure that I know this is a positive 9 meters per second, which is telling me that it's moving north. All right, so nine meters per second. Uh, when I see meters per second, a displacement over time, that is a displacement unit, meters over a time unit, seconds. So I know that this is displacement over time or velocity. All right, and now for the question. I don't know from here what the question is, but I can go back to my problem and find out. So the question asks us, what is Austin's kinetic energy? Now, I know kinetic energy is represented by Ke, so I'm going to go ahead and write that down. And now we have categorized all of the measurements that were given to us and the question that we are trying to answer. All right, so let's go ahead and cross out the categorized step. And now we can move on to the equate step. Now, in the equate step, we are simply choosing the equation that we're going to use to solve this problem. Now, when we choose an equation, we want to choose something that has all of these variables in it, all the things we know and what we're looking for. So our equation needs to have M, V, and Ke. All right, now we know we're working with this kinetic energy equation in this video. 
Uh, so we're going to go right there. So we're putting down KE equals one half MV squared. Now, when we look at this equation, it has KE for kinetic energy, it has M for our mass, and V for our velocity. So that works out great. So we can go ahead and solve this problem. Uh, so I'll go ahead and cross out the equate step. And now we're going to evaluate. So let's go ahead and evaluate this problem. All right, so KE is equal to one half our mass. Okay, our mass is 78 kilograms. All right, we got that just from over here where we said M is 75. And now our velocity, which is nine, a positive nine meters per second, positive nine meters per second, and the velocity is gonna be squared, okay? So now we're gonna just continue evaluating this problem, okay? So I'm gonna leave one half times 78 kilograms. Now, because this velocity is being squared, I wanna deal with that first. So I'm not gonna multiply the one half and the 78 kilograms yet. I'm not gonna multiply the kilograms with our velocity over here. We're gonna deal with squaring this velocity first. So when we square nine meters per second, all right, we get nine times nine is 81. And now I also have to square my units. So meters times meters is meters squared. All right, let me write that a little more clearly. So meters squared. And then our seconds are gonna be squared as well. Seconds times seconds is seconds squared. All right, so now we just went and uh, we got the, we squared our nine meters per second, and now we're gonna finish the rest of this problem, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and multiply straight across. Um, you could throw this all in your calculator at once, that is fine. I'm gonna do it in pieces just to help us follow the math a little more. So we're gonna take one half of 78, all right, and that's gonna equal 39. All right, we wanna keep our units, so 39 kilograms, and that is being multiplied by 81 meters squared per second squared, okay? Excellent, so let me adjust this camera a little bit so we can continue to follow the work. All right, now we have to multiply these numbers together, okay? So 39 times 81 is gonna be 3,159. So that is our number. Our units are going to be multiplied as well. So kilograms gets multiplied by meter squared over second squared. All right, so that works great. So we have our final number. Uh, we also have our units. But remember, whenever we're dealing with uh, energy, we can rewrite these units all right, kilograms times meter squared per second squared, we can rewrite those as a joule, okay? So we can represent them with a J for joule. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna rewrite this final answer as 3,159 joules. All right, 3,159 3, joules of energy that's how much energy Austin has.